By day, we're, I'm an engineer, so Umabi and Horn Engineering is, is where, I, where I work and reside most of my life. Okay. Um, a buddy of mine that I went to school with, uh, Ryan Rabone, um, we, he lived down in Temecula, and kind of a short story, he worked for a really good friend of actually um, my stepfather, okay. my, not my stepdad, my father-in-law. Times turned, economy changed, and he was looking for a job to come back to the valley with his wife. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he ended up coming back to work for me. And as we started talking about it, it was like we both had a passion of home brewing and stuff like that. So it was kind of like, hey, let's just start doing it. Yeah. So we got a small little kettle up there was what we bought and started doing it on the back patio out here. And then it was kind of like we got good traction, people were liking it. So between the two of us and the people that work here drinking the beer, it's like we didn't have any left. My dad spent 22 years in the Navy, in the CBs. Right. Ryan's dad was in the Army, and Justin's brother currently flies out of the 144th. So we all had this. So I wanted to kind of do like a paying homage to a heritage type yeah. of deal. We um, got served to stop using the name. Okay. So Brooklyn Brewing has a beer called Brooklyn Black Ops. So it's a beer. Ours are, all have unique names, and our name of our company is Black Ops Brewing. So we thought we'd fight it. And I said, hey, I know a good lawyer. Guess what? He works with, he's part of the owner. So I was like, hey. So he battled it for a little bit. We lost our injunction to continue using the name during the lawsuit. Yeah. So once we lost that, we're kind of like, you know what? We really need to come up with a different name. Because there's a good chance we're probably going to end up losing. We have like two pages of list. So, but then is like Black Hawk Brewing. Well, that's trademark. Then you have, um, I, we were going through all of them. We thought Ghost Ops would be really nice. Okay, so we'll just change that. Brooklyn Brewing has a trademark on Ghost. So it was like, ah. Uh, uh. So we're, we're still struggling with it. There's a couple that we're hoping we can do it. Out of all of our names, we got Shrapnel is the only one I think we might be able to get, we've, we're nine months into the trademark process, right. and I think we're going to get that. But okay. we don't want to call it shrapnel brewing. We make beer that we want to drink every day. So our beer is not going to be, and there's nothing wrong with having a chili pepper beer. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing. There's everything. It's like sour beers. It's a craze right now. I don't like sour beers. So what I like to make is something with flavor that's an everyday approachable drinking type of beer with a you know, it's good flavors. And that's why, you know, we have eight different ones on tap. We have our IPAs. Most people, you'll get people walking and say, I don't like IPAs. They're thinking of that really strong, you get that bitter, knocky in the face boldness. Ours isn't like that. We dry hop most of everything, so there's not a lot of bitterness. We don't boil, when you boil it for like 60 minutes or 90 minutes in Dogfish, 90 minute IPA, the longer you boil it, the more bitter you're gonna, you're gonna boil in those oils and it gets more bitter. We make them more approachable. We're just trying to bring the flavor out. And I think that's what everybody says. So say eight out of 10 people who walk in and say they don't like IPAs, eight of them like our IPAs. There's no egos here. We take the feedback of people that come in and we really, you know, that goal is to make a beer that people want to drink. Yeah. And it's something I want to drink, you know? I'm really good friends um, with the Fowler Packing family. Mm -hmm. And so I even tried to do, at the time it was cuties, now they're halos. But so we even tried to do like a Heffenweizen with the ha halos. Mm -hmm. And it was like, he, he tried it and it's like, yeah, at first he wouldn't say anything. And then it was like, well, do you like it or not? And then finally he was like, nah, I really didn't care for it. It's like, okay, I need to know that. My dad does. My dad drinks it. Ryan's dad, um, J Justin's brother, they come over here, the flight, because they're all flight guys. Actually, they put a keg of our beer, believe it or not, and I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, they have a bar over there for the, for the uh, pilots. So I 44? think, yeah, so I guess when they're done flying, they're allowed to, they sit there, they relax. I don't know if it's whatever they're doing, but so they put our, our cake of beer on top over there.